Good morning. Today we are going to discuss about the arches of the foot. Arches of the foot is something unique to the human beings. In the four-legged animals, the arches are not as well developed for the simple reason that all the four limbs were used for mobility. Whereas, and moreover, uh, depending on the type of the animal, the four limbs are either used for grasping the branches or on all fours for running, all those things. Whereas in human beings, the whole system of locomotion and stability, everything rests on the limbs. So as we walk, as we stand, as we run, whatever, the whole body weight has to be balanced and stabilized by the foot. Though there are a lot of features in the foot which aid that, the principal and the most important of all the factors is the presence of arches. So today we are going to see how these arches are going to help in the stability. So we will see the various factors that form the importance of the arches and of course their importance in the mobility. So, with regards to the competency-based medical education, this topic comes under the number A in 19.5 and uh, description of the factors that maintain the arches of the foot and its importance. Of course, to know what factors maintain the arches and its importance, we need to know the basics of how the arches of the foot is formed. So, we will have a few slides on the competence of the arches of the foot and how they are formed and then we will go on to the factors that maintain them. So, let us see a case study. A woman came to her physician with complaints of pain in her feet. She also expressed that there is uneven wearing of the soles of her shoes. When the physician observed the woman's feet when she stood, he found that the longitudinal arch was flatter than normal. So now you know that there is a longitudinal arch and it is flatter than normal which implies that it is not as flat as it is supposed to be. So this is all that is evident from this case study. So to know what the diagnosis and why is her shoes in a different way, the soles of the shoes are worn in a different way. And what could be the possible causes is what we are going to discuss in today's class. If you already know the answers for this, you need not go into this class. If you don't know or if you are not sure of it, let us proceed. So, these are the bones of the foot. You already would have been familiar with this. Still, let us uh, go through it once again. So, this is the tarsal bone which is the calcaneum over which the talus is resting. You are looking from the superior aspect, from the dorsal aspect. So, calcaneum is placed below the talus. The talus is placed above the calcaneus. So, with the talus we have the navicular bone and the cuboid bone laterally. Directly articulating with the navicular bone are the three cuneiforms, the medial cuneiform, the intermediate cuneiform and the lateral cuneiform. So, with the cuneiforms and the cuboids, we have the first, second, third, fourth and fifth metatarsals. The head of the metatarsals are placed distally and the bases of the metatarsals are placed proximally. And to the tarsals, we have the phalanges. Now, why are these bones of the foot important to our topic? Because it is not just the arches that are helping in the stability. Imagine the amount of the movement that we undertake, the force that is transmitted by with every movement, with every contact with the ground that we make while we walk or run or jump or whatever it is. The body's force is transmitted to the ground and if everything, if you see the 
this extremely large forces that are generated of small small duration with every contact with the ground there is no amount of uh, this much of force that could be withstood by any structure if not for the bones of the foot which are flexible so it has been designed in such a way that these bones of the foot are flexible so that the force that is transmitted is absorbed by these flexible bones in a manner of deformity that as and when the bone will deform in one way or the other thereby uh, taking in the impact that is coming through it by way of the forces so in this way the shock is absorbed by these bones of the foot and these flexible bones of the foot in turn ensure that the arches by way of the arches of the foot they help in the this functionality so that's why it's very important we need to know the bone of the bones of the foot and how they are arranged and you know how they contribute to the arches of the foot